right, Naglin's Bakery, Naglin's in New Braunfels is here. And of course, if you're looking for something to do on this rainy weekend, why not head up there and sample some of the sweets? Look at that stuff. No. That is their famous apple strudel, and that is one of the oldest recipes oh uh, there at Naglin's right. Bakery. And of course, Ross Granzen, the owner, is here today, and we are going to be making that famous apple strudel. Thank you for all being right. here. Look at this yeah, well, spread. Yeah, <laughs> so we brought it all. Well, and not we, all of it. And we were talking about that the, one of the reasons why this has been going on, the oldest bakery in Texas, this right. is pretty much the same apple strudel. If somebody tasted it 100 years ago, it's going to taste the same. Right, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, you know, it takes a process to make this dough, so we're you know, it's like seven processed layers that we put in between there of butter and stuff, and then we fold it all together. So it's a process. You know, it takes a day to do it, but then we have our dough, but the next day it's ready to go. And it's handmade. It's not made with a machine, right? Right. No machines. Okay. Everything we make is just about all handmade at our place, yeah. And How look, do we get started? This yeah. is the good stuff in the middle, but this is, this is, is this a secret? Now this is, I can tell you, Mo. Oh, really? <laughs> no, it's got apples and uh -huh. a hint of cherries and a hint of coconut inside and a little bit of cinnamon. Oh my but it's, goodness, this makes, this look at that. There's a wonderful taste. Of coconut in there. Yes. Yeah, interesting. Okay. okay. A lot of people don't notice that. So we've got the dough all laid out, and, you so said, and I heard the word butter used in there, so butter. lots of butter, yeah. right? Yeah. But all no right. calories. So, so I'm going to take want, this. Yeah, you just want to scoop it up. There's about half of a little thing there. Okay. There like this? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Go right down the middle of it. Right in the right middle. Right in the middle. Okay. There you go. Because you've done this before, right? You were up there one time. Kind of it out a little bit. There you go. Okay. You know, we need... Three more on there. Oh, my there you go. You're doing good. good. Don't get skimpy on the apple stuff in there. <laughs> can, you, look, look, can you see the coconut? I know, yes, mm -hmm. I now can see the okay. coconut there. And, and if somebody's never been to your place before, right there, downtown New Braunfels, just off the... Uh, just off the square. Yeah. Just off the square. Right. And that building has been there. Yes, it's, we have a lot of original walls and mm -hmm. floors, and it's really cool to see all that. And we seal it up right on this edge here. Yes, just a nice right little, and just water, not even uh, egg white or anything like that. No, right? just water. Okay. There you go. So there we get this like that, like and what so. You do, you'll flip this in over, just over the top, all the way over to here. There you all go. All the way to there. There you go. And yeah, this higher one. you, I guess. Okay. Tuck it in Very nice good. and good. <laughs> there you go. This end is going to, I can get picked up there, <laughs> and that will stick with a yep. little bit of water on there. Because we don't want it spilling out. No. We want to keep it all the good stuff inside. There we go. Seal it up. So now what we're going to do, now we have to flip it. This is the hardest thing. You have to flip it over. We want okay. the seam at the bottom. So okay. it Which way one, are you going We're forward? going that way. One, two, <laughs> three. <laughs> there you go. That could have been disastrous. How <laughs> did the TV host does it take to make the... <laughs> so and now, now you put a little bit of water on top again so the lattice work will stick on top. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Because is the last step the... The crisscross. The crisscross. Think you can follow that? Okay. Not too bad. Is this a two-person job or one person? No, one. Should we? One, you, you think? So we just go like He's this? He's good at this. Just keep <laughs> There you go. Just, and go yep. like, like that? Go all the way down. And all the way down. Okay. What's your favorite thing to eat there? Man, I like the sweet pretzels we have. Berry claws are wonderful we have. And, you know, the apple strudel is still my, one of my favorite ones still after all these years. And we're taking a look at some of the some of the yummy stuff that you brought. And what is that one we're looking at right there with the bacon on top? That is a maple bacon donut. Mm. It's like you get your whole breakfast oh, in one. Man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are killer, yeah. You and know. the cakes that you make there are incredible. I mean, yes. look at this one right here. Yeah, we have our cake decorator, Jennifer. She's been with us for about two or three years now. She just does, does a wonderful job with everything here. And so yeah. you can... Do you just Everything submit your eight. ideas yeah. and she'll make it happen. Look at that bucket of beer. That's a cake. Yeah, that's a cake. <laughs> that, and, that whole, and there's Rice Krispie treats in there to kind of make yeah. some of the different shapes, the beer cans and beer bottles. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So this would go in an oven. So that's finished. You got it good. Okay. So we'll put that in the oven probably about 40, 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we'll pull it out and you'll have your strudel. And we usually slice that in like 10 pieces on those usually. Or two really big pieces. Or two big pieces mm -hmm. you can have. Mm -hmm. You know, and the thing yep. is because you have to go there and you sample something and then you got to get something for tomorrow's breakfast and then the Sunday, you know, to go with scrambled egg and then something for next week. So you just come out with bags and bags of stuff. So. And it's not yeah. just sweet stuff because you have... Uh, and we have, uh, down here too, actually right? we got sausage and che cheese kolaches. We have a jalapeno one and we have a brat one too. Mm -hmm. And plus we have jalapeno tortillas and people always get confused. I say, is that mold on those? I said, no, it's... Jalapenos, jalapenos inside. Ooh, they're really good. Excellent. Ooh, a breakfast taco in a jalapeno, jalapeno tortilla. tortilla. Yes. That mm -hmm. sounds good. <laughs> All right, once again, it is worth the drive going up to New Braunfels right there, uh, just off the square in downtown. And if you would like more information about Naglin's Bakery, head over to salive.com.